deciding to make uh, music and to to make music as the Madden Brothers uh, for us was just a artistic decision that we had to make. You know, I think um, we we do what we feel. You know, as songwriters, as artists, and as musicians, I think we uh, whereas people in other jobs probably have to calculate a lot more than we do. I think we just get to kind of do what we feel when we feel it. And at this time in our life, we felt we needed to make music in this direction and to kind of to, to go with this. And so uh, it was a very honest kind of decision. Yeah, I think it's different, you know, when you're in a band with, uh, with you know, bands are like, de they're democratic. You, there, there's a lot of people that are, you know, more people weigh in on a decision. Yeah. So, uh, with the Madden Brothers, it's just the two of us. So we are making decisions. There's less of a discussion. It's more of like, hey, that feels right. Let's do it. And that's kind of how all the decisions are made with the Madden Brothers. It's just what feels right. I think it's di it's so different from Good Charlotte because um, I think we're different. You know, I think when you have a bunch of parts that make up something, there's, you know, with, with a band, you have parts that make up a band and that band people liked. You know, we had fans and um, they all liked it for different reasons. But when you when you break the parts down and you take us out of that and you ask us what we want to do, uh, the music is true to that. The music is, it's different uh, from anything we've ever done because we have a lot more freedom than I think we've ever had. I think when we have choices uh, and we know that there's no, nothing kind of constraining us to do a certain sound for a certain fan and a certain you know place where you play, I think with, with, the, with Greetings from California, we just had a lot of freedom. And the music that we love, the music that I think is relevant to us now in, in this place in our lives, it sounds like this record. Yeah, so the record has two sides. It's side one we made with Eric Valentine, uh, who we've worked with before. And it's kind of a... What would you say, Vinge, sound-wise? I would say that it's... Ex kind of experimental pop you know very musical pop you know um pop rock uh, it's um you know Happy. yeah it's uh like i like i kind of liken it to at least what we were kind of going for it was like a kind of like this new school like phil Spector vibe you know the beach boys and kind of uh the that era like you know we we, we were trying to make it very musical and um I think it's kind of like if you listen to the chord changes and some of the parts, it's kind of sophisticated as far as like pop rock music goes. Um, and then the other side, uh, California Rain side, we did with a guy named Joe Ciccarelli, who's one of our favorite, you know, uh, producers. And uh, that has a real, if you listen to it, it has a real kind of classic rock vibe to it. And I think that's just simply because we made it like a classic rock record. We recorded it, you know, the a big share of all the tracks were just recorded live in a room, you know, with, with all the musicians playing together. There is. It's, uh, we had uh, the pleasure of having Ryan Adams in the studio, and he lent his vocals for some background vocals on California Rain. Yeah, and it's really, it's, it was really interesting work, getting to watch Ryan work because we're such fans of his music. Um, and he was so fast. He's just so good at what he does. He's really, truly kind of like one of a kind. It's it was it was awesome being able to, to be in the studio with him and watch him do that. Uh, he was just he's so fast and and good at what he does. Yeah, it was it was definitely a a career highlight as well. Being such big fans and and uh, being able to to do anything with him. Uh, it was great. Yeah, it was great. You know, it's funny when we were kids dreaming about getting out to California. Uh, I think for us, we just imagined this place where it would be easier. I think uh, where we where we grew up, it was very cold in the winter, very hot in the summer. Um, we we grew up with you know we didn't have a lot of money, 
we didn't have a lot of anything. And um, I think when, as a kid, when you grow up in that situation, you need something to kind of, you need a fairy tale kind of thing to believe in so that you can understand, you know, what you're going through. So I think um, getting to California for us, it seemed like if we just get to California, it'll never be cold and and it will, uh, people out there, endless summer. it's an endless summer and your dreams come true. And then we got out to California and it is kind of like that. I mean, for me, I mean, that's what this record is all about. It's like an endless summer. And if you really want to believe in something, you can there. Uh, by if 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 there's any place where people believe in crazy shit it's california well, and i think that really california everyone's got their own california you know everyone's got the thing that they think of that kind of takes them away from the situation they're in mm-hmm. when they need a little break from it mm-hmm. you know what i mean so you know for us it was california and now you know the dream came true and now we're living it you know we're living the dream and it is it, it is everything that we thought it would be probably more way more you know so of course, um, the downside of everything every place has its every place i mean when you think of uh los angeles or hollywood i mean of course there's pitfalls and there's a downside to any place uh we tend to me and benja are kind of romantic people who like to see only the good things uh, but of course there's a doubt there's a there's a darker side to, to every place hit music only energy hit music only